I am not CV joint axle expert by any means. I'm just learning how it goes. And also I'm not sponsored by Insane Shafts. It just happened that Slim uh, honored my parts and uh, yeah, he gave me the warranty for it. And most important is this one. Yeah, shout out to uh, Slim. gonna rain soon yeah it's a good thing I repositioned uh, Miley inside the garage oh welcome back guys well I just got back uh, I just came from uh, insane shafts uh, that place not too far away about an hour drive 20 minutes going over there and you know spend like 10 minutes getting the stuff anyway um, I got all the goodies and uh, he gave me all new parts. Before I went there, I cleaned up the inner joint, the old one, and I saw some uh, wear inside. And it's sitting right about right here, just past the uh, hopway. I should have took a video of this earlier, but the wear, it sits about, yeah, past half of the uh, shaft so it's not bad I guess what cost that wear is the bearing yeah anyway I'm here so I'm getting a new one cool I'm gonna put it on there without the boot that way we could see and I'm gonna play around with the suspension This ball bearing or the tripod should sit right about there when everything is put together. If this thing goes up, it should be right there. Yeah. Should be. But what's happening on the old one, the old inner joint, it was right here. The wear is right about here. Which still okay. You know, there's still plenty of uh, clearances. Remember I said something about that the upper control arm affecting the uh, drive shaft or axle as far as being recessed? Um, I want to cover everything and right now the shaft is horizontally straight, sitting right about zero. So when I, I'm just gonna pretend that I have the stock UCA. All right, that's where it's at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it. This is just approximation, but this is just to let you know that it does affect the recess on this. So I'm gonna bring this all the way in. We already know this thing is recessed, so I'm gonna bring it out. So it's more like it's the nut is on there. Okay, now I'm gonna hold hold it with my hand. I'm gonna let go. Now I'm going to move it back a little bit right there. And then I'm push this, and that's less than 3 16th. So if I move my hand back some more, check it out. Look, see it's plush. Yeah, and look at the distance right here. See the distance? So the UCA really affect the position of the axle as far as the clearance in the inner joint. So if you have a upper control arm and your car is all the way lowered 
and you want that zero degree or a one degree camber then it will affect as far as this joint where it sits at like this one here I think this one is perfect since I put a uh, upper control arm uh, camber correction then it just pulled it out the more I corrected the uh, UCA the more this thing will be affected right now everything is put together without the boot and my uh, drive axle is horizontally straight and that's where the ball sits it's sitting right about here right there it's almost a three-quarter right from where my line is yeah right there my line so I'm going to jack it up I'm only going to cover going up because there's no sense of uh, <laughs> of going down because of the uh, the shocks the shocks is limiting it from going down anymore remember I'm using a uh, a shortened uh, coil over I'm bringing it up all the way till it hit the UCA and as you can see okay yeah I'm bottom out right there that's where it's at now I'm going to turn the steering wheel max and you can see also I'm gonna turn the, the wheel to the left So we can see that there's plenty of clearances even here yeah, there's plenty of clearance now I'm gonna bring it to a right height from the center yeah, 11 and 3 quarter, just about. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. So that's my right height form. That's normal height. So I got plenty of clearances. The wheel all the way to the right now I'm gonna turn it to the left full left that's all the way to the left I finally verified that I do have plenty of clearances on there and I'm gonna put this together Because uh, <laughs> I have no other choice. <laughs> I thought about going to the junkyard and get me a B-series uh, uh, axle. But what if it's the same length as this one? So forget it. And if it ever happened to me again, if it breaks on me again, I now I know I have an idea exactly what to do. I need something a little bit longer. Maybe 3 16 of an inch. Man, I know it's not much, but that's enough for me to, uh, look, if I put it on just a little bit, 
that will bring that that ball to go farther in 3 16th of an inch inside and it probably will help as far as not vibrating because if you're sitting right at the edge almost at the edge that there's a potential that it might vibrate a little bit that's probably what leads to the demise of the, the, the ball bearing so uh, I'm going to put this thing back together hopefully you would have an idea on what to do on your swap especially if you have something like this and your axle is giving you a problem remember your UCA play a big role also I have shown you earlier I recommend if you are making your own from a B-series uh, with H22 or using OEM uh, parts, uh, do not put the boots. Put it on there first and do exactly just like I did here. That way you'll know you have plenty of clearance. And that's it. Right there. That's as hard as I can go in and zero out there all right let me put a pressure on there right there so now it's different okay 4 17 and if i on one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteenth. So on my CD fiber cord, so we know that the ball bearing on the tripod, it's right on the center on this one. Yeah. Because we know that this is longer. Yeah. Yep. So there it is. I think I'd rather have, on Miley, I'd rather have a axle be uh, even out on the rotor and also it sticks out. Yeah, that way I know when the nut is on, I'll be riding right at the center. But that will be next. If anything happened to that, uh, <laughs> that axle, then I know what to do. And let me show you what the axle look like. So it's not really that much of an angle. Yeah, not like uh, Miley. Take a while, I guess. That's the new sensor from Snow White. So after this one, I'm going to uh, <laughs> start Snow White, and if that is no good, then the sensor is bad. Okay, so it looks like I am good. I changed another relay on this one. <laughs> that is the third relay that I have changed on this. Yeah, it's the sensor's bad. Okay, the uh, fault followed. This is where I always feel that vibration whenever I make a right left turn. Accelerate. No mass. <laughs> right on. Oh yeah.
cage. It's working now. Fix two things in one stone. Right on, man. Man, that feels better. We'll see how long this thing will last. Back to stable. Right on. And that is it for this uh, axle and my AFR gauge. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you guys like this episode. And yeah, I man, it's very interesting uh, for me. And I hope you guys find this very interesting also, uh, especially if those guys that have some problem, uh, their axle popping out and everything. And like I have said, if you guys will take the time, you know, I know it's expenses, you know, you have to remove the camp and everything, but man, it's really worth it if you are gonna do it like this. You know, you're actually seeing where the tripod ball bearing landed right there. I think that, I'm not sure what's the ideal one, but right after I uh, showed you on what Snow White have, yeah, I know exactly where to put that tripod bearings, yeah. So you guys should do the same thing, but always do your research, okay? Uh, don't, don't do like I do here. Please do your research first. Hope you guys like this episode and I will see you guys back. And uh, uh, hit that like button and make a comment as far as what has happened to your axle. What kind of experience do you have? Do you have the same thing like mine where it was vibrating like hell? <laughs> but I'm glad it's all fixed up. But. If it ever happens again, I know exactly what to do. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys back. Bye-bye.